VAC Therapy Mechanisms of Action. This video is intended for clinicians. Prior to using VAC therapy systems, consult detailed product instructions and important prescribing information contained in the KCI VAC therapy clinical guidelines and the device or disposable specific user guide. Additional safety information specific to the VAC therapy system is available at the end of this video. Contact your local KCI representative or call 1-800-275-4524 if you have any questions before initiating therapy. The VAC therapy systems are indicated for patients with chronic, acute, traumatic, subacute and dehist wounds, partial thickness burns, ulcers such as diabetic, pressure or venous insufficiency, flaps and grafts. The unique VAC therapy system promotes healing across a wide range of wound types and helps provide benefits to patients in all care settings. When treating a wound using VAC therapy, the KCI proprietary granule foam dressing, which is a reticulated open cell foam, is placed directly into the wound bed. A semi-permeable drape is then used to seal the wound provide a moist wound environment and protect the wound from external contamination. The proprietary track pad and tubing are then applied to the drape and provide the connection to the therapy unit. In combination with sophisticated software, track technology helps provide uniform negative pressure to the wound surface. It also provides alarms when there are conditions that would impact negative pressure wound therapy. The application of uniform negative pressure when delivered by VAC therapy induces a physical response, macro strain, and a biological response, micro strain, that removes exudate and infectious material, reduces edema, and promotes perfusion and formation of granulation tissue. Macro strain is the physical response that can be seen immediately as the wound edges are drawn together thereby ensuring that there is optimal contact between the wound bed and the granule foam dressing. Macro strain facilitates removal of wound exudate, which may contain inhibitors of wound healing. Removal of wound fluids assists in the reduction of edema, which facilitates the flow of blood into the wound bed, providing the oxygen and nutrients that are needed for wound healing. The effects of the biological response are initiated by microstrain, which results from the manifolding of negative pressure across the proprietary granule foam dressing to the wound surface. This creates areas of cell surface strain, also called microdeformation. Tissue microdeformation at the cellular level leads to cell stretch. When cells of any kind are stretched, they are stimulated to expand, become thicker, and more metabolically active. This response to cells stretching has been well documented and is clinically used, for example, when tissue expanders are applied to stimulate the formation of new skin. In vitro and in vivo studies conducted using negative pressure have shown that these activities include increased metabolic activity, fibroblast migration, cellular proliferation, and extracellular matrix production. All of this cellular activity leads to the formation of healthy granulation tissue in the wound bed and the characteristic undulations that have been seen in wounds treated with VAC therapy. Over subsequent dressing changes, the granulation tissue fills the wound bed, further reducing the volume and preparing it for final closure by secondary or delayed primary intention. KCI's VAC Therapy System Healing by Design